Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Bill. Um, and thank you to the board for having me here today. Um, I guess uh, it's a special for me to be back here at Clark to talk a little bit about financial aid and, and what this community uh, means to me. Um, I'd like to start off, I guess. Uh, I was born in the small country of Lebanon in the Middle East, and um, I uh, grew up there and was raised there until about nine years old when we moved to the States. Um, my dad got a job opportunity here and uh, a little more stable environment. Uh, so my family moved to uh, Colorado and uh, we lived there for a few years before relocating again to Indiana. And uh, in Indiana I spent um, my high school years there and um, my senior year of high school my family decided to uh, move to the Northwest, uh, Vancouver here. Uh, again, my dad with his job. And um, I had already had plans to attend Purdue University. I had gotten accepted for engineering and was uh, enrolled in my classes at the end of the year, ready to go. So uh, I made plans to stay and uh, started school, started my college there. Uh, now I was 17 years old when I started, and uh, I went to went from a high school of uh, about 1,000 students. So my, my graduating class was only about 250. And when I went to Purdue University, my smallest class size was, was about the same. So um, it was quite a quite a culture shock just in, just in, in the aspect of going from a small high school in a small town in the Midwest to you know, an undergrad of 40 or 50,000 or so. Uh, I remember my, my time away from my family too had a, had a big impact. Um, we moved over here, just the six of us, I'm the oldest of four kids, and uh, we don't have a lot of, we don't have any extended family here in the United States, so it was, we were pretty close uh, moving around the country together and um, constantly moving. So when we, when I finally left the household to go to college and, and my family was across the country, it was, uh, it was a little tough for me and I ended up not doing too well in school. Um, you know, my, regardless of class size, I, I had, a, I had a, a lot to learn still and I was still very young. Um, so that summer I made the decision to come to Clark College, I enrolled and I applied for a work-study position here on campus at the financial aid and uh, I was fortunate to get hired on and uh, the community itself was um, was a lot smaller here at Clark obviously the class sizes are, are, are a huge deal uh, I think to a lot of students um, who probably go through a similar uh, encounter if they try to go off and do the whole university thing right out of high school. Um, but I uh, also, my time at the financial aid office was very special. And um, I was, you know, 18 at the time, and I was still learning a lot of things about uh, myself and uh, growing and learning. And the the uh, interaction with students over the phone and in person and the community within the financial aid office. Um, all the people really cared about their jobs and cared about the students and you could see it in day-to-day -day activities. Um, so that, that, env that environment, uh, in addition to Clark and the small classes and the teachers caring for their students, really helped me grow and stabilized during a critical time in my life when I thought I couldn't make it through college. Um, <clears throat> so I got my Associates of Science transferred to Washington State University in Pullman and uh, spent a couple of years there and finished out my chemical engineering bachelor's degree. Um, the when I graduated, well, as Karen mentioned, I came back for a little bit of financial aid, so I didn't do any internships while I was going to school and, 
Um, I wasn't big into extracurriculars. I stayed focused on classes and work. Uh, so when I graduated, my I didn't sound like much of a success story, I guess, at the time, or my resume didn't reflect that either. Um, but the skills that I learned at Clark and the skills that I learned at the financial aid office um, really got me up and, and I, after being graduated for two months without a job, I uh, got discouraged. I was, I was pretty down on, uh, on where I was headed or, you know, all the time that I had invested. But I uh, went back to that same phone that I trained on back at financial aid and picked up and started dialing some numbers to get a hold of HR representatives. And the soft skills that I had learned at financial aid mm -hmm. really helped me get in touch with some people and um, I ended up getting a, getting hired on shortly after I started doing that. So um, <coughs> that was uh, that was a, that was really a, a big deal for me to have those skills going into uh, the launch of my career. Um, and uh, today I'm uh, working at the same company. It's been three and a half years, roughly. Uh, I started out as a process engineer at a company called Novellus in Tualatin. It uh, was bought out and now is uh, called Lamb Research. And uh, I'm now a program product manager at the company uh, as of three months ago. And I really, I, I really have to say that what I learned in school um, supplemented with what I learned interacting with students in the work study position, in the part time position on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, those two things combined have really helped me grow and succeed um, in an office environment, uh, both professionally and the, the lessons of how, learning how to keep it personal as well, which I think gets lost in, in the big scheme of things when you go to a corporation or most companies, you don't have the personal connections on a day-to-day -day level, and I've been able to build those within networks within uh, work, and I think that has, um, that has helped me succeed. Um, so Clark College not only was an impact to me, but uh, it was also uh, a big deal for the rest of my family who followed, and I'm happy to say that all three of my younger siblings attended Clark. Um, my youngest sister actually came for a running start and uh, is now up in Western Washington University. Uh, my other sister uh, attended Clark and um, actually worked at the financial aid office for a time as well, and really enjoyed her time there too. And uh, she's getting ready to graduate with her uh, degree in architecture. She actually interned for LSW for the last couple of summers. Um, and my brother who's here in the room with my mom in the back, um, he has recently graduated Clark and is planning to attend Washington State University as well. And uh, so I'm very proud to be part of the Penguin Nation and uh, thank you all for having me. How long did you stay at Purdue before you decided it was too much for you? Uh, one year. Um, one year? Yeah. Well, you're very brave. <laughs> it's, a great, it's a great university, beautiful campus. One of my sons went there for 60 days. <laughs> yeah, so, he's not an engineer now, but he's doing pretty good. <laughs> he did spend time at Clark and went on to uh, an unknown university across the river I won't mention. <laughs> Congratulations, that's a yeah. great, great story. And your family, if you yeah. wanted us to be congratulated. Yes. Mom, very clear, you're a very powerful role model, not only within your family, but within these communities. Well done. Thank you. So do you think the work study was really key in some of your financial aid package to make you successful in what you were doing? Yeah, um, I think as far as lessons in leadership and teamwork, working in that environment, um, 
really helped put it together. Uh, I, I mean, I formed a lot of study groups on campus here. It was easy to interact while I was at, uh, during my time at Clark, but most of it came from the work environment and the other fellow work study students and all the people that you know really cared about it. Uh, the students, um, Karina and Lena, are here in the back as well. So thank you for coming. Um, but there was a lot of, I mean, there's a long list of names at the financial aid office that um, just really helped me out and helped me, mentor me, I guess, to grow and learn all those things. I think you need to get a commission from each of your brothers and sisters. <laughs> 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 Helping them in the Clark system. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Kareem, I heard you say that after you graduated, you didn't have a job, you were a success. And I beg to differ. You were a success when you decided to stick with it and get your degree. And make, um, <laughs> Definitely internal resiliency and tenacity that um, trenched a pathway for your siblings to come behind you. I'm sure other folks as well. So thank you for what you're doing for our college as well. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.